we are at Head Smashed in Buffalo Jump UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is where we've taken our undergraduate and graduate students to start to learn how to excavate, how to engage in archaeology, and how to work at a World Heritage Site. While here, they engage in real research, right? They're actually solving real research questions. They're engaging with the public and learning how to work with the public in an interpreter center. They're learning about First Nations modes of knowing, and they're learning generally about how to how archaeology is conducting the province, preparing them either for a future in academia, a future in professional archaeology, or a future in any other kind of career where a liberal education can be of value. Right now we are standing in a very large excavation area. Uh, this area was opened in 1987 by the Royal Alberta Museum and archaeologists worked here until 1990. They targeted this area of the site to get a better understanding of the processing and butchering activities that went on at Head Smashed In Buffalo Jump. We found the base of a projectile point that dates to around between 7,500 and 6,500. And then we found another projectile point a little bit older that dates to 8,500. And then we found a base of what we call an Alberta spear point that dates to around 9,000, 9,500. All in beautiful stratigraphic levels as we were excavating down. Now we're able to confirm that indeed people were using this area of the site at least 9,000, 9,500 years ago. Up until uh, our excavations, the earliest stuff was around 6,000, 7,000 years ago based on the excavations done at the base of the cliff. And so we have uh, pushed that date even further back now. I decided to take this field school because getting out of my comfort zone is kind of scary for me. So this was a, a great opportunity as well as it's a World Heritage UNESCO site. So that's, that's really important as well. I'm also Métis. So I wanted to work that in and find more about myself because growing up, um, I didn't really get to learn a lot about myself. So this is also a good way to kind of combine the two of archeology span and um, my own heritage as well. Probably the most memorable experience was just the other day when we found an Avonlea arrow point. Um, in pretty good condition. It might not seem that exciting to find a small piece of rock like that that's been buried for a while, but um, as we were analyzing it, I just sort of thought of how someone else had held this with a lot of care a thousand years ago or longer, um, and the amount of time and effort they put into crafting it and what they would have used for it, it, it creates a very strange, intimate connection with the past. I mean, there's nothing better than unearthing the past. These artifacts have been in the ground for literally thousands of years. So we didn't get many students returning to our field school for the second season because they all got hired by the industry. And archeology span might seem like kind of a fake job, uh, but it's actually a job that's in really, really high demand in Alberta, BC, and Saskatchewan. Uh, archeologists are important for any type of resource development, but there's always a demand for these students and their experience at the field school means that they get snapped up right away and they, they're all hired immediately. So even before they've graduated, they're already working as professional archeologists. And then to actually be contributing to understanding Alberta's past, like we're unlocking a period of the jump's history that we don't know very much about, right? So we're really making an important contribution to understanding Alberta's past, First Nations past, First Nations history, really, really remarkable contributions.